Hi, my name is Jane Asigrand. I'm an executive coach, leadership facilitator, and my passion is around listening, helping people to discover the impact of listening to another, to bring out the best in each other. So I've written a couple of books, Are You Listening or Just Waiting to Speak? And most latterly, The Listening Coach, a practical guide helping you to coach yourself through the critical elements of listening at home, at work, and in our communities. And I'm super excited to share with you this, the listening deck. This is a set of 30 coaching cards that will enable you to deepen your listening skills in both a fun and meaningful way. So what's included? Well, included in this, these 30 cards are a number of contexts, in fact, three contexts. And the way the cards work are each section is denoted by a different color backing. And then there is, in this case, the context together with a short description and an image that will bring it to life. So we have three contexts. We also have 10 skills of listening, anything from noticing the body language of another, using your encouragement, um, eliminating distractions and giving your attention are some of them here listed. Once again, you'll have the skill with a definition at the bottom plus an image that will bring it to life. And we also have the five levels of listening depicted again in a different color backing and the levels of listening of which we will engage in at any one time in our day. And so it's to be able to discern what level of listening, other than pretend listening, will get you into the best experience and interaction with another. One of the things that gets in the way of us listening well are the biases that we hold. And so understanding what those biases are will be able to help you then discern how to improve and to mitigate those biases of listening and then in order to help mitigate those, I've introduced what we call the seven principles of listening. And adopting these principles will help overcome those biases. So how might you use them? Well, if you're working independently, you could, for example, just simply choose anything that stands out for you. What I'm seeing right now is one of the listening biases of the solutioner. Some of you might relate to this. This is where you're too busy trying to solve the problem or the opportunity or the challenge that the person has brought and just jumping in with your ideas or solution before you've even finished listening to their explanation. And so if you've picked out on this particular bias or it's one that you relate to, is having a look at some of the listening principles that will enable you to overcome or mitigate that. One that jumps out for me here is listening for the potential and possibility because when we listen for that we're able to we're able to mitigate the listening bias of a solutioner because we see the potential and possibility in another there may be an opportunity when you're working with others either in pairs or in your small group in different ways one idea is to have a look through the cards and identify we say one of those listening biases like i just did and invite others to seek out what are the skills and principles that will enable you to mitigate that bias. Another idea is to simply choose any card at random and then hold a discussion and find out in which ways would you demonstrate this particular skill or principle and how would you overcome the bias? What level of listening will best serve you in the interaction that you want to have to deepen your relationship with another or enable someone to improve their decision making? So I hope that's been fun to have a look at these, the listening deck and um, I would love to encourage you to, to have some fun with them, using them in your teams, in your groups and for yourself personally. So get yourself familiar with what's on the card deck, the 10 skills, the seven principles, the five biases, the five levels and the context in which you want to deepen your listening skills. I'd love to hear from you, so please do get in touch and you can find me at www thelisteningcoach.co.uk. Thanks so much for watching.